Well, the story continues with the Dominion lawsuit against Fox News and the information that's being revealed through that. Now we have to talk about Rupert Murdoch um, and the things that are being revealed about him through this in regard to the election lies. So we're going to walk through some stunning revelations, but to kind of give you the context in case you've missed it, Dominion Voting Systems is suing uh, Fox Corporation based on the lies that the hosts and the executives bolstering the messages of the hosts um, perpetuated, the guests that were brought on to perpetuate these lies and the endorsement from hosts of the lies being told by guests, specifically in between the 2020 election Trump's loss and when he left office, Sidney Powell, Rudy Giuliani being people who would come on the network, um, and then the hosts lying about the election being stolen, and so many dangerous batches of rhetoric were present, as you guys remember. And so they're now being sued for defamation, and what is being revealed throughout these um, events, through this process, is truly incredible. This is from CNN, 10 points that we're going to walk through. We won't um, go through all of them, but this article goes through 10 points that were truly stunning here. Uh, in the wake of the election, Murdoch, Rupert Murdoch, chair of Fox Corporation, wrote in an email to the New York Post's Cole Allen describing election lies that Trump was pushing as BS and damaging. So the top dog at Fox recognizing that Trump is pushing BS, as he said, damaging rhetoric about the election, and he's not getting his hosts to stop being the ones pushing those lies, supporting those lies. It's so backwards. Murdoch also said it was, quote, wrong for Tucker Carlson to host conspiracy theorist Michael Lindell after the election. When asked why he continued to allow the MyPillow CEO to continue appearing on Fox News, Murdoch signaled it was a business decision and said, quote, it is not red or blue, it is green, he said. That's a shocking admission from Murdoch about what actually guides coverage at Fox News. It is not red or blue, it's green. That's why he allowed his incredibly powerful media empire to wage an all assault on our demo uh, democracy and our democratic processes and the legitimacy um, or perceived legitimacy of our democratic process. Murdoch responded to one email from Paul Ryan by telling him that Sean Hannity had been, uh, quote, been privately disgusted by Trump for weeks, but was scared to lose viewers. In other words, Hannity, who also claims to say the same things on camera as when he's off camera, was not being up front with his loyal audience for fear they rebel against him. Would you have ever guessed if you just took Sean Hannity's performance, his entertainment performance on air, as it actually is, um, at face value, that he was disgusted by what Trump was saying? Absolutely not. It was Sean Hannity. It was Laura Ingram. It was uh, Maria Bartiromo. It was Tucker Carlson, Lou Dobbs, all of these individuals actually making people believe the things that behind the scenes they were finding disgusting and finding Trump disgusting. Murdoch, this is, <sighs> this is wild. Rupert Murdoch gave Jared Kushner, quote, confidential information about then candidate Joe Biden's ads, along with debate strategy in 2020, the filing said, offering Trump's son-in-law a preview of Biden's ads before they were public at most news organizations. This type of action would result in an investigation and disciplinary measures. Um, so, I know I said most of what's being looked at here is in between Trump's loss and him actually leaving office because that's when it was running rampant and direct a lot towards Dominion and that's when Sidney Powell was relevant and Rudy Giuliani, all these different things. Um, but also this is during the 2020 campaign, Murdoch just completely coordinating with Jared Kushner, which can we please recognize from the people lately who have been saying the Twitter files is the biggest example of this horrible coordinated effort from media slash social media um, and political figures to change the results of an election. Are they going to care about that? The chair of Fox Corporation 
directly giving uh, information, as it's being called, confidential information to someone within the opposing parties or uh, opposing candidates administration and discussing debate strategy is that not outrageous is that not some coordinated effort to help trump in the election but no they only care when it's in relation to with the very weak facts to support it um joe biden murdoch asked fox news ceo Susan Scott to have Handy say something supportive about Republican Senator Lindsey Graham ahead of the 2020 election. Murdoch explained, we cannot lose the Senate if at all possible. In other words, Murdoch was directing the head of his uh, talk network to help the GOP. Again, this is this type of directive from an executive would be a major scandal at an actual news network, CNN writes. Absolutely accurate. Just the complete unity and team sport nature of the interactions between fox news and republican uh politicians and still you're going to trust that they're giving you information that's at all um accurate or based on the facts not just completely based on their biases holy smokes um when Shepard Smith attacked the Trump administration's lies on air, Rupert emailed Scott and Fox News president Jay Wallace, calling it over the top and telling them need to chat to him. Um, and that one continues saying that coverage of um, reporting on Trump, a Trump rally should be a celebration of the president. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, let's see. Continuing. Murdoch said he suggested or urged the firing of host Lou Dobbs because he was an extremist but allowed him to continue hosting a program at the network until after the election. Dominion argues that's because Dobbs was popular with Trump and his supporters in the network was fending off viewer defections to Newsmax. So someone who has the power to stop someone like Lou Dobbs from putting out all this propaganda and recognizes that he was, quote, an extremist and urging the firing of Lou Dobbs at some point, but ultimately deciding, nah, we're going to let him continue spreading this disinformation. It is truly stunning and as low character as you can possibly get. Not red or blue, but green. That quote is going to stick in my brain for a very long time because... You are doing such a disservice to the entire country, to the world, by supporting, and as I said, the assault against our democratic process, lying about the reality of our elections, the most crucial part of our American reality, which is allowing people's voices to be heard through our democratic process. And if this assault continues, if enough, enough people stop believing in the efficacy and legitimacy and functionality of our democratic process, we will not have a functioning one any longer. And that'll be because of people like Trump, like all of these hardcore MAGA election deniers and the media networks that supported them. And so it seems clear within these, uh, these lawsuit uh, situations that Rupert Murdoch fully understands that's exactly what happened. He knows it was lies. And I allowed it to continue on my network because the green, I wanted to keep the audience. I cared more about short-term cash than long-term democracy. That's what he cared about. It is so enraging. And I'm sure we will continue to get information out of this lawsuit that is so accurately characterizing and revealing to us the reality of Fox News and how it is just as if we didn't know this before a propaganda machine and it's so dangerous let me know what you think of all of it Luke P. Beasley on Twitter